Fire engulfed a Whitwell home, killing the man who lived there. This happened just before midnight last night on Alvin York Highway in Marion County. Four volunteer agencies responded to assist in fighting this fire. Our Tim Pham tells us this call was personal for one firefighter working to save a loved one. The home on Alvin York Highway is well known in the community. Several generations of the same family have lived there. Tonight, investigators are working to learn more about what caused the home to burn. Responding to fires is a call firefighters expect to get. You just had to block it out. Just go with it and charge through him. But this one required a lot more. I automatically knew it was what it was. I couldn't remember the exact address per, per se, but as soon as I got on scene, I seen the house was the way the shape it was. I didn't think he was there. Jonathan Maxwell is a Whitwell firefighter, but he's also a close relative of the man killed in Wednesday's fire. Every time he needed a ride to work, I'd stop and go and take him. If he had, he was down, pick him up and walk with him. Crossroads Assistant Fire Chief Charles McIntyre says it appears the homeowner did not have working smoke alarms. Sometimes space heaters too close to clothing or other flammables is a fairly common cause. It's been a difficult few years for this family. Not too long ago, they lost another family member in a separate house fire. And now Maxwell is grieving the loss of a man he considered a brother. I couldn't imagine this to happen to him. I wish I'd have been here with him to get him. This is the second major fire in the Woodwell area this year. Firefighters say the cold weather likely played a role in both. In the studio, I'm Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim. Firefighters stress the importance of having working smoke alarms and a plan in case of an emergency. They say contact the fire department if you need some help.